really interesting time right now. There's youth movements exploding all over the country on a range of different issues. And we found that these young people are really, really wanting to learn from each other. So Fresh Tracks is really helping establish a new model and tool for these young people to come together in a really intentional way to learn not just about one another's diverse cultures, but to also really think very differently about the way that they're going to build power and take action on the issues that matter to them. So at the beginning of 2018, we wanted to bring the Fresh Tracks experience to as many young people across the country as possible. And we felt the best way to do that was to bring it to different regions across the country. We've been to the Northeast. We've been out to the Pacific Coast. We've been to the Inner Mountain West and we've been to the Midwest. Early on when we were putting Fresh Tracks together, we wanted to make sure that collective impact and strategic partnerships were a key component of that because we know that no one person or no one organization can carry and address the systems of inequity that we need to address through this initiative. So Fresh Track supports the mission of CNAY because we're building community, we're building leaders, and we're igniting this fire that they're going to carry with them even after they leave this Fresh Tracks expedition. When we look at some of the core objectives, cultural excellence, leadership development, as well as civic engagement, what we are finding in some of our preliminary uh, evaluation understandings is that they are not only understanding their own leadership style, they are also understanding the value of learning about others' leadership style because that leads directly to the ability to collaborate effectively. I feel that uh, Fast Tracks for me, honestly, it just kind of did the final shaping on myself. I'm a good motivator. I know how to listen to people. I know how to guide people, but just being here and, and d hearing different stories from different people, uh, it just kind of helped me to become more compassionate, more understanding. I've been taught some great leadership qualities. And today I had the opportunity to run the leadership IQ session as a trainer. It was beautiful. There's no better feeling than being able to pass on what I learned to other individuals who have the same passion that I do. The most interesting thing about sharing my culture is that I've seen that we're all the same. I shared my culture with other cultures and realized there's so many things that we connect to. There's more similarities than there are differences. And it was a great opportunity for me to connect with people who I would have never even spoken to passing by on the street. I'm really surprised how much culture plays an impact in our lives. Right? Um, I'm meeting all these different people and they're from native tribal groups and I'm just like wow like that means that much to you and I want to understand why that is and I've been learning so much about about their culture that reminds me of my own. It's definitely opened my eyes to know that I'm not alone and that you know there are people to reach out to and talk to about things that you know we struggle with. Civic engagement for me is providing an opportunity for people to voice what their needs are for their community and I think that one of the beauties of Fresh Tracks and of this space is that we are a whole group of people that are sharing their experiences and how they're engaged in the community and recognizing that they're already leaders in the community. Fresh Tracks is, is something that needs to happen more everywhere in the world, especially in the U.S. A program or organization who care about young people who want to make a difference and give them the opportunity to learn more skills to make, go make a difference in their communities. There isn't enough things or programs like this to help them shine their light. It's not easy to have these conversations. It's not easy to say, well, this is what's wrong with my community. How are we going to fix it? Because usually we look at things through a lens, right? We say, oh, well, this is what's good about my community. We try to sell our community to other peoples. And this group is great in saying, well, this is what's wrong with my community. This is how we're going to fix it. There are a lot of leadership programs that are out there. There are a lot of outdoor programs that exist. I think the idea of creating a network or creating change and uh, building a community carries along with an investment of time and energy that really supports uh, leaders becoming better leaders or becoming better versions of themselves. And you guys are creating this community that will allow people to lift them up and to become change agents using the outdoors as a platform to create social change um, and healthier people, places, and a planet, hopefully. I love that Fresh Tracks unites everyone back into nature because this is a free resource that we have. It's nature. It doesn't cost anything to come out and it really bonds everyone. You come out, you forget your technology, you forget about the drama that you may be facing, you forget about your stresses. 
Nature is good medicine and it's free medicine. I like to help address higher education. This is the revolution. This is the things that are going to spark a movement that's going to change the world. We're the next generation. We're the ones to do it. Just being able to, to you know, get back to my community and also not be looked at as a gangbanger, not be looked at as somebody who took away from the community. Within myself, I work to raise awareness about missing and murdered indigenous women. I really want to have a bigger impact on my community. We'll bring everybody out, especially if I had like the right tools and people and connections. What I see as a, a community need um, where I'm currently living in San Diego is uh, access to the outdoors. I feel like it's going to be so much easier to make change because of being here. It's not just my community, it's everybody. We all have to, as a people, help each other out because we are people of the land. So we have to help each other, respect each other, value each other, and uh, be open to people have compassion um, for others. We don't want this fire to go out because we have to do better for our communities and we have to do better for our people. If you are willing to take action in your community for a positive impact, if you are willing to stand in action with us to do that, then you are part of our family. Because family to me is defined by those who stand in action with you. Real change takes time, real change takes courage, real change takes skills, and real change takes a family to pull it together. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they play it, yeah, boy.